Custom URL categories and external dynamic lists of type URL are displayed under Category. By default, site access and user credential submission permissions for all categories are set to allow. The URL filtering profile allow categories best practice check ensures the URL categories under the site access section are not set to allow. If traffic is set to allow from a URL category, the firewall doesn't log that traffic. So there will be no visibility into traffic to websites in that URL category. For URL categories that are not blocked, set the site access action to alert to log traffic to all websites. We set all URL categories to alert to gain visibility into the traffic. We advise you to block risky URL categories such as command control, phishing, and malware based on your business requirements and local regulations. You have been redirected to the Welcome to the BPA Plus screen from a BPA report or from the Get Help section. The first step is to click Browse Files to upload the latest text support file. Navigate to the text support file and click Open. Now that the text support file has been successfully uploaded, we can continue to the next step in the process. Click Next. This screen lets you know how to set up your PanOS CLI. We also recommend that you back up your existing configuration before you start making any configuration changes on your firewall. Along with the recommended best practice commands, BPA Plus will also provide a command to take a backup of your existing configuration. Click Next. The list here shows the failed BPA checks. For the purpose of this demo, we will remediate the URL filtering profile allow categories best practice check. Click Next. This displays the URL filtering profile allow categories at the top. It says please review the best practice setting and select the desired options for your configuration. By default, this screen will show the best practice settings. The settings highlighted in light blue are the settings that are being changed to adhere to best practices. If you click on existing setting, you will see the setting that you have in your configuration. You will see a note at the top that says, are you sure you want to deselect the best practice setting for this profile? We advise against this as it will make your system less secure. You want to take action against the failed best practice check. So we will click the best practice setting and click next. The next section is to generate set commands. At the top, you can see a download all commands button. This is useful for remediating multiple best practice checks when you want to download a file with all the recommended best practice commands. Now below are the list of best practice recommendation commands along with the command to take a backup of your existing configuration. Now we'll click copy commands. The next step is to open an SSH session to the firewall. Paste the commands into the CLI. As you can see, there are no warnings. We are good for the purposes of this demo. I will perform a commit operation. As you can see, the configuration was committed successfully. Now we will check our firewall settings. We'll go to our firewall under Objects, click Security Profiles, then click URL Filtering. And then we'll select our profile. Under the Categories tab, Filtering, ensure that all categories under Site Access are set to Alert instead of Alarm. This will ensure the best practice check passes. This concludes the demo.